Hey there guys, it's Amit, you're watching Dev Dreamer, and this is lesson number 40 in our JavaScript series. In this lesson, we're learning all about JavaScript hoisting. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Also, be sure to click that bell and choose all notifications so you never miss an update. Okay, so welcome back to lesson 40. In the previous lesson, we learned all about JavaScript scope. In this lesson, we're covering the final major difference between var, let, and const, which is hoisting. So before we dive into some code, let's understand first what hoisting actually is. Hoisting is JavaScript's default behavior where variables and function declarations are moved to the top of their scope before code execution. This means that we can call functions before we write them in our code. So how does this work? Let's take a look at a quick example. So here, if we were to say, hello, and then invoke it as a function, this of course gives us an error. We've got unquote reference error, hello is not defined, which of course makes sense because we're trying to invoke a function that we haven't actually created. But if above this, if we were to create this function, so let's say function, hello, and get rid of this, and inside of a function, let's just console log, hello. So now if we invoke this function, this of course works. We've got a function declaration, and then we're invoking that function. However, because of hoisting, if we were to remove this function invocation and invoke the function before we've written it in our code, strangely, this still works. So here then, we've invoked our function before we've actually created it. And the reason why we're able to do this is because of hoisting. So the first thing to note about hoisting is that hoisting moves declarations only. Initializations or assignments are left in place. Now you should know the difference between a declaration and an initialization by now. But let's just take a look at a very quick refresh of what we mean. So let's go to this and paste this in. So here we say we're simply declaring this value, which is why when we console log it, we get undefined. Down here, we're then initializing that variable to have a value of Super Mario, which is why now when we console log game, we get Super Mario. So this is a declaration, this is an initialization. And with hoisting, only declarations are moved to the top, initializations or assignments are left in place. Now there are two main types of hoisting, variable hoisting and function hoisting. Let's first understand variable hoisting and then we'll look at function hoisting. So before we begin then, let's understand a few things. First, an undeclared variable is given the value of undefined at execution and also has the type undefined. So for example, if we said console.log and we use the type of operator to find out the type of something. So here we're just going to say none. Now, of course, we haven't actually created this num variable, and yet strangely in the console, this has a value of undefined. The second thing to know is that when we try to use a previously undeclared variable, a reference error is thrown. So if we try to say console.log num, which is a variable we haven't created or declared, as you can see, we get a reference error. It says num is not defined. So let's understand then what happens behind the scenes whenever we create a variable. So when we create a variable, we first have the declaration, for example, var author. Then we have the initialization, that's the second step. So author is assigned the value of C.S. Lewis. And then we have the usage. So for example, console logging our variable. However, since JavaScript allows us to declare and initialize at the same time, we usually write our variables like this. Var author is assigned the value of C.S. Lewis. So we would usually create our variables like this rather than just saying um, var author and then on a new line saying author is assigned this value. Usually it's all on a single line like this. But remember in the background JavaScript is declaring and then initializing our variable step by step, which is why if we were to do this, so above this I'm going to say console.log author, we get undefined. Now here, we would expect to see reference error, author is not defined in the console, because we're trying to use author before we've even defined it. So somehow, JavaScript has managed to identify that there indeed does exist a variable called author. So this is an example of hoisting. What happens behind the scenes is this. So we have var author, then it's being used, and then down here, we have our assignment. So this is what happens in the background. Remember we said that it's only declarations that are hoisted, which is why it's the declaration that's been hoisted, but assignments are left where they are. So this is what the browser sees, our author, console.log, and then finally our assignment, which is why our console log returns undefined. We've declared our author variable, but we haven't actually assigned a value to it until after this console log. Now it's important to note that this is the default behavior for variables declared with var. 
Let's now see what happens when using let and const, the two that we actually want to be using going forward. So let's move our console log up here first, and then down here, we'll say let, and the console gives us that reference error. So the difference is our let variable throws an error, unquote reference error, rather than being given a value of undefined, like we have with var. In other words, this is an advantage over using var. We don't want to be using undeclared variables like we try to do here in our console log, and using let and const guards against this by throwing an error. Variables declared with let and const remain uninitialized at the beginning of execution, whilst variables declared with var are initialized with a value of undefined. So we should always declare and initialize our variables using let or const before using them. So if we take a look at our table here once again, we can see that declarations made with var are initialized with the default value, whereas declarations made with let or const are not initialized at all as part of hoisting. Okay, so that's all about variable hoisting. Now let's understand how hoisting works with functions. So if you recall earlier, I mentioned that when our script is first loaded, the browser goes through it all and looks for functions and variables and essentially gets them ready for use. So that, as we've just seen with variables, we can use these things before they've been declared. Although this isn't always what we want. So let's take a look at a function example. And let's create a function, let's call it lion. I will give a parameter this time of name. And we'll console.log the lion's name is name. And then let's go ahead and invoke this function. And let's pass an argument of Aslan. So in the console, we get the line's name is Aslan. Everything works as expected. But if we move this, as we've seen earlier, if we move the invocation to the beginning, this still works. And once again, the reason why this works is because of function hoisting. The browser has gone through and found our function declaration and pulled this to the top, ready for use. Which is why in our code, although we have the invocation first and then the function declaration, this has actually been pulled to the top and this is underneath it, which is why we're able to use it. Also bear in mind that this is a function declaration, and as mentioned at the beginning of this lesson, it's only declarations that are hoisted and not initializations. Well, another type of function we've already looked at is a function expression. A function expression, which is where we take a variable and assign it to a function, would be a initialization. So here then, if we got rid of this, and we said let lion be assigned the value of a function, this is no longer a declaration, as it's a function expression, we're assigning a value to our variable, so this is an initialization. We're initializing this variable with a function. So once again, only declarations are hoisted, initializations are not. Okay, so let's go ahead and summarize. So to hoist something means to lift or pull it up. Hoisting is JavaScript's default behavior, where variables and function declarations are moved to the top of their scope before code execution. Hoisting moves declarations only, initializations or assignments are left in place. In variable hoisting, variables declared with var are hoisted with a value of undefined. Let and const are hoisted without a value and instead they throw an error. We should always declare and initialize our variables using let or const before using them. And finally, we learned that function expressions, unlike declarations, are not hoisted. Okay, so let's take a look at your tasks for this lesson. So for task one, what is the expected outcome of the following? So here we're invoking a function called book, we're passing through an argument, and then underneath that, we're creating that function. And then for task two, once again, what is the expected outcome of the following? And also, how would you fix this? So here we're saying console.log book, and then underneath that, we have a variable called book that's assigned a value. So as always, go ahead and pause the video, try these out, and when we come back, we'll take a look at the answers. So how'd you get on then? Let's see. So for the first task, we need to identify the outcome of the following. So we have a function invocation. So this function is called book, and then we're passing in an argument here. And then it's after this function invocation that we're actually declaring that function. So function book, and then we just console log in this to the console. So here then, what we're trying to do is we're trying to invoke this function before it's actually been created in our code. However, since this is a declaration, and remember, declarations are hoisted. When our script is first loaded, all the functions and variable declarations are hoisted to the top, and so we should expect this to work. So let's go ahead and save, and it all works fine. So once again, the reason for this is because this function declaration has been hoisted. Okay, and for task two, once again, what is the expected outcome of the following? So let's go ahead and copy this, and we can just get rid of this one for now. And here, since I've said, how would you fix this? That should of course tell us that there is a problem with this. We're trying to console log book, and then after that, we're creating and assigning it as a variable. So if we save, 
We of course get uncaught reference error, cannot access book before initialization. The way that we'd fix this is by ensuring that we create our variables first and then we use them. So guys, well done on completing those tasks. That's it for this lesson. We've now understood the differences between var, let and const and how they have an impact on our code in relation to things such as scope and hoisting. We've also importantly seen how they affect functions. In the next lesson, we're going to continue our learning by looking at the this keyword. Now, this in JavaScript can often be very confusing, so super important lesson coming up. If you're not already, be sure to click subscribe down below and choose all notifications. Of course, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave me a like, also comment and share. So guys, that's it for this lesson. Keep practicing and I'll see you on the next one.